Hello, it's me Harley, back at it again for yet another video and hopefully you should be noticing some improvements as I have a new camera and this camera is specifically made for recording and photographs rather than photographs in particular. So hopefully you'll be having better resolution, better quality videos with hopefully better sound quality and better volume. So I don't know how this is my dad's coughing. I don't know how this... Thanks, Dad. So I don't know how well this is gonna work out. Like, I've never used this camera before and I'm still very new to it. I don't really know how it works. So hopefully this video will be good. Sorry if it's bad. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be explaining why I am a bad Christian. <laughs> so something you should know is how I was raised. I was born and raised Church of England Christian. Now if you're not from England, Church of England is basically the Christian re religion invented by King Henry VIII after he fell out with the Pope over a divorce. So um, yeah, I used to follow it very devotedly until I was about in year six. I'm sorry, just ignore my dad coughing. I don't know what he's doing. He's just choking his guts out on something and I don't know why. He's not ill or anything. Maybe he's just gone round inhaling dust. I don't know. But <laughs> basically I was born and raised Church of England and I was deeply religious and very devoted until I was in about year six when my dad basically told me he was completely atheist and didn't believe in any anything and that there was no such thing as heaven and the second law of thermodynamics etc 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 so that basically shattered my bubble <laughs> now then i remained kind of agnostic but i was no longer really terribly devoted to church of england until I was about 17 um, but I still took part in all the Christian celebrations I still went to church I still did various things with Christianity still it was a very big part of my life and I've been raised with it I wasn't going to give up on it and then when I turned 17, I started looking into Druidism and I now consider myself rather Druid because that's the religion I've kind of chosen for myself. So in a way, I'm kind of two religions. I'm Church of England Christian because that's how I was born and raised, but not very devoted. And I'm Druid because that's the religion I've chosen. Now then. Now we've got that out of the way, we'll now go on to the kind of funny bits as to why I am a bad Christian. <laughs> now then, um, if you're not aware, last Tuesday was Shrove Tuesday or Pancake Day. And on Pancake Day, you're meant to give up something for Lent because that's a big deal. And as I said, I'm a bad Christian. I no, it's to do with sacrificing and Jesus and sacrificing because Jesus sacrificed everything for us but I'm not really I don't know the exact reason why we give up things for Lent so again I know very little about the religion I was raised <laughs> so I decided I was going to give up something for Lent I didn't even make it an hour. <laughs> I didn't make it an hour. Literally what happened was I decided I was going to give up fizzy drinks and crisps for Lent. I've not gone to bed yet. I'm an insomniac. I stay up really, really late. <laughs> and I pour myself a nice big glass of cola and happily drink half of it. It's only once I've drank half of it, I realise that it is 1.30am and I have already broken the 
thing I've given up for Lent. I mean, that's just a genius thing to do. <laughs> Why else am I not a very good Christian? Well, I don't go to church anywhere near as much as I used to. When I was in primary school, um, one of the primary schools I went to was very, very Christian and one was pretty darn Christian. The first primary school I went to was the pretty darn Christian one where we would, on a semi-regular basis, go to church and have like um, services and stuff, usually on the big holidays and things like harvest and Christmas, Easter, all that kind of thing. So it was pretty Christian and we would semi-regularly have the vicar in to talk to us and give assemblies. However, the very Christian school I went to, we would have the vicar round at minimum twice a week and go to church very regularly. And I really liked my vicar. He was really, really nice. And I would regularly try to have conversations with him and talk about it. Now, looking back on it now, I asked a lot of wrong questions. I mean, I was a kid. You can't really blame me. I was just curious. But... I was one of these annoying kids that would always pick holes and find problems with the Bible. Like, one big thing that I found completely absurd was how if somebody um, repented and like accepted God, like, on their deathbeds, moments before they died, all their sins were like wiped away so they could like go around being stabby McGee over there and kill somebody and it was fine. That that blew my mind to me and I remember at one time searching all the way through the bible to try fi and find one instance where satan had killed somebody and I couldn't find it but I found all sorts of instances where god killed people like in Noah's Ark wiping out tons of his own children and I remember going to my poor vicar and going hey if satan's the bad guy how come has he not killed somebody, but God's killed tons of people. I was that kid. <laughs> but, again, I would regularly pray, I would regularly sing hymns. Um, I actually learned a lot of hymns in sign language because I had a deaf friend and it was like, he's got the whole world in his hands, etc, etc, etc. So, I was good to some respect, <laughs> but I was bad in a lot of ways. One funny story I actually have about my vicar is he was the person who actually introduced me to the singer Pink. Now, <laughs> it's, it's really, really weird thinking about how I was in year five at the time and my vicar was like, oh yeah, Pink's a cool singer. I think you'll like her. Now then, <laughs> this came about as he was giving a um, assembly. And I do not remember what the assembly was meant to teach at all. All I remember is he made this kind of anecdote about this girl and her birthday party. And how this girl was obsessed with the colour pink. So she had pink clothes on a birthday, pink food, um, and the only music they played was by the singer Pink. To this day, I don't know what that story was about. All I know is that there was a lot of pink involved, and my favourite colour at the time was pink. <laughs> so, well, pink and red. So, that is how I became a fan of Pink. Now then, I bet if you rewind the footage and decide to take a sip of tea every single time you hear me say pink, you could finish off an entire cup. Um, how else am I a bad Christian? Although I was taught the Bible and I did all these services and stuff, I know very, very little about what my former religion was based off. I don't know 
many of the stories, I remember a couple of them, but I certainly don't really know what the <laughs> models were and reasonings behind them. I've like got a handful which I could just throw off the top of my head like Noah's Ark and the Nativity and in fact I've got a very interesting um, story about a festive chicken but I'll keep that for Christmas for you so that's something to stay tuned for if you want to know about the festive chicken and how amazing that was but yeah that's kind of a summary as to why I'm a bad Christian I fail Lent literally within the hour I don't know what my religion actually was <laughs> or rather still is because I still do regularly go well semi-regularly go to church I have a vicar who's my vicar who I talk to and stuff and he knows me um but and the third reason is I used to ask all the wrong questions <laughs> when I was a kid I wasn't somebody who was like oh yay god is good I was that annoying brat who went on about how Satan seems like the cool dude so <laughs> I am so sorry if I've, if I've offended anyone please believe me that is not my intent I was just a weird kid and the idea of heaven and hell just was mind-boggling to me and yeah I hope that's given you a bit of insight into the weirdness which is my life <laughs> so toodle pip beans <laughs>